one, I'm going to be talking about lip powders today. Do you know about them? Have you used them? I particularly love these. Now, there are four colours from a brand called By Terry, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, the brand is created by a makeup artist called Terry Gunsberg, and she wanted to create really soft, long-lasting colour on her lips. But she's not 20. She's our age. And I think that these are really soft and I will show you because I'll put a couple of the shades on. They glide on just like a powder but then they just kind of melt onto your lips and they impart this lovely pigment which lasts a long time. So for those of you who follow me for a long time you'll know that I like to use a liquid lip to create a nice shape on my mouth and then I'll add something a little bit hydrating on the top. I just think it's more of a modern way to keep colour on your lips. Um, but these are really exciting and I wanted to share them with you. Now Clinique also have some lip powders and Chanel also has a little compact with flat compressed powder. Um, but I love these and I love the application. So what should we try? Should we go, why don't we go pink first of all? This one is called Pink Kiss and then you can see how it looks. So my lips are hydrated. I would never recommend putting on a liquid lipstick if your lips are dry. You obviously just need to hydrate your lips and use products that benefit um, the skin around your lips. This is the applicator, it's really thin and really delicate. Look at that. I mean, I just love that finish as it is. Stretch your lips when you apply it. It's so light, it almost tickles me when I apply it. I have to talk to you, I have lipstick on. <laughs> That's not attractive, is it really? Now, see how easy it is just to really press the colour into my lips. Now look, this to me looked quite soft in the packaging in terms of the colour, but actually it's quite a strong, punchy pink. I quite like that. I really feel that bright colours kind of lift you, especially pink. Pink is a really great colour for brightening the whites of your eyes and teeth as is a bright red. Anything with too much brown in tends to deaden your complexion. So here's the tricky part because my lips are annoyingly quite feathered on top. Push together and I might just use a little bit of a finger just to soften that colour. And I have to say if you don't have perfect lips or the shape isn't perfect. You don't want to build up one side because you just think it looks too much or you're just not used to it. This, it almost gives you like a modern stain. Look, there's nothing coming off on my hand. That's really, really nice. And that didn't take very long to do. What do you think, do you like it? Right, what color should we use next? Shall we go nude, red, or like an aubergine? That's gotta be red, hasn't it? Right, so let's use a little bit of my cellular water and I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just buff that over my lips because it just helps me find my lip line better if I put a little bit of base over my lips first. Okay, so we use a red and this is called red carpet. Let's see, now it does look quite an orangey red. Mmm. So nice. It's such an interesting texture. And how easy it is just to get that color on. It's a strong color. It's, oh, I quite like this. Let's go again on the bottom and rub it together. Mm. So you'd think it would be really dry, but you can see how my lips are rubbing together that actually it's um, it's soft. I'll just make my lip a little bit bigger underneath. Bear with me. So no bleeding. It's always those outer corners that need a little bit of TLC.
I just love how once I put it on, just give a nice soft movement with my finger like that and it just gives that lovely soft focus finish. So comfortable, I mean literally I can't feel I've got lipstick on and it's not creating a tightness on my lips. Okay, so let's go to the top. I suppose if anything, the applicator could be a little bit fatter. Maybe not at the tip, because that really helps me apply the colour delicately to the line. And it could be a bit more fatter. More fatter. It could be fatter uh, just to get more colour quickly onto the bottom. That's the only negative thing I've got to say. I reckon this is a really... I like this shade. It's definitely a summer red. It's an orangey red and I like that. Now let me just balance up my Cupid's bow. You see how easy that is? I think if you don't like lipstick transferring over your lips, you get worried. Hold on. You get worried about the placement of your lips. Oh my god, I love this. Now, this is definitely great for me, for my artists on a red carpet because they haven't got tightness to their lips. Um, I don't have to be conscious of it. I don't have to worry about it moving. Uh, a great, great texture. I've got a real problem with this camera that I use. I literally, when I look at you, I can't see myself. I've just got black. I can see myself when I look in the mirror because my screen runs out after 20 seconds. I mean, <clears throat> so half the time I haven't got a clue what I look like. So I hope that that looks balanced and lovely. I think I should finish off my makeup for you, right? Because I was actually going to do that when I started this film, but I get so excited and like <laughs> lip powders and I want to show you that I forgot that I didn't have any other makeup on. Hence not having a screen or seeing what I'm doing. Right, we've been quite busy in my family because my sister's getting married, which well, has actually got married now. Um, and this is the palette that I used on her wedding day. Um, and I'm going to use this, but just with one brush. I'm a little bit tired at the moment, so I'm going to use a nice bright colour. The palette is by Laura Geller. Oh, now look, I've got a little crease there. And always just smooth away any creases. I've powdered my eyes because I'm using a powder eyeshadow that's very important but that natural oil whilst I was doing my lip has just soaked in. I love this lip. It's quite playful isn't she? Especially with the t-shirts. I've pulled it off, thank God. I'm always slightly winging it. Right, let's put this here just to give me a little bit. All these brushes are nice. This is a brush by Marc Jacobs. Slightly um, weighted at the end and that actually is making it really nice in my hand. It's the little things, isn't it? I'm just taking this across my tear duct just to kind of give me a little bit of brightness. Oh, sun's coming back out again. I do apologise. The light is very inconsistent, but I like to use daylight because I like to keep it real, you know? I'm going to blast a whole load of light into my face um, and give you the impression that I look like that because unless we all go around with big lights attached to our head, none of us look like that, do we? Right, same brush. Why am I using the same brush? Just because I want to kind of just keep it nice and soft and flowy. So if I used a different brush, this colour here, where shall I do it? Um, so I can either put it in my socket to make my eyes look bigger, but I think I'm just going to wash it across the lid just to give a little bit of definition, but not too much. I don't want, you know, big eyes and big old lips. I don't like it when, you know, your makeup walks in the room before you do, you know? Oh gosh, yes, your makeup, but you look nice. No, 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 it should be always you look nice first and then the makeup compliments afterwards, if you've nailed it right. Right, so I just blend these colours in together really softly. Again, just make sure, even if you're just doing a little bit of definition on the outside, that when you look straight down the mirror, you can always see a little bit of a shadow here. And I've just moved my mirror up a little bit because I was realising that I was doing my makeup like this and it's just not good. Girls, always do your makeup and look up, okay? Don't look down into the mirror. We don't need to see ourselves looking down because gravity's already 
fighting with us. We're in disagreements with gravity, aren't we? We're at war with gravity. We're trying to, to stop gravity winning. So at all times, like a ballerina, just look up and your face will just come alive. It's always the little things, isn't it? Right, that's enough shadow. Again, the lips are the focus, so again, it's nice to keep it simple. Right, next, Max Factor Masterpiece. Fabulous, classic mascara, ticks all boxes, and it allows you to buy mascara, you know, every sort of eight weeks, 12 weeks, depending on how much you use it, because it's this action that oxidizes the mascara. And what I mean by that is that it dries it out. Air dries out products. Air dries out. Air dries out pretty much everything. Now, I'm just using this as a little bit of a lift. And I think because, because of my lips, I'm actually going to do it only at the top. It's an interesting tip, this actually, which I've just realised, is that if you want to wear a red lip, put your focus makeup on first. Put your red lip on first and then come back to your eyes because you might find that once you've done your eyes and then you do your lip, oh God, you've gone too far. And then you have to take your eyes off and then you start not liking how you look and then you get frustrated and the fun and joy of makeup application disappears rapidly. So yes, I'm going to just stick with that look. So I am thrilled to bits. Let me just do a little kiss test actually. Look at that, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Touch proof, colour proof, and a real great pop of colour. I hope you like it. Please subscribe and I look forward to chatting to you down below. Bye girls.